not just an Alan Gray first, it's a world first. It's never been done as a double act, but these two guys set out to raise the level of difficulty that much higher. To rehearse two people into one presentation that lasts only 6 minutes 40 seconds, meaning they had 3 minutes 20 seconds each, is no small feat. So I, I'm going to have to give you two introductions here. I'm going to first of all introduce um, Kafan on my, on my right. His most magical experience, he said, um, he tells me after an accident, he doesn't specify what this accident was, he was given a very trippy muscle relaxant which let him taste <laughs> colors. <laughs> okay, that's what he said. What would he like to disappear? Now listen to this one very carefully because this is profound. I asked him, what would he like to make disappear in this world? He reckons he would like to make the end of sentences disappear because that would... <laughs> okay, he's teaming up with Matthew tonight at first, as I've mentioned. And um, their title of their talk is a, a Pecha Kucha magic trick, which gave us the entire magic theme for this evening. Now on my left, in the blue corner, or orange corner, whatever, okay. I asked Matthew the most magical thing he'd ever done. He said it was summoned, summiting Kilimanjaro, wait for it, on the morning of his 14th birthday. Whoa. Wow. Apparently, apparently the family had gone for a walk. They must have taken a wrong turn. <laughs> <laughs> what would he like to have disappear? Mosquitoes. I said, why? He said, do you need to ask? <laughs> So here they are, the first double act ever. Give it up for Matthew and Yvonne. <laughs> Space is mm -hmm. big. The Milky Way is so big that the little speck that's our solar system takes a quarter billion years to move around it. That's a distance of a quadrillion kilometers, two zeros. And, and to do that, we move at a speed of a million kilometers an hour. Yeah, bro, sorry. Um, at the middle of our solar system, if we zoom in, is our sun. And we revolve around it, uh, which takes it takes a full year to revolve around it, and that's a distance of 150 million kilometers, which takes us to a speed of 100,000 kilometers per hour. All right, so push. Right? These are big, impressive numbers, but they're not important. What's important is this, that sitting here, hanging off this blue rock at the edge of the Milky Way, suspended over an infinity of stars, we're hurtling through space at a thousand kilometers a second. And that is the literal definition of awesome. But even though we know this and understand it and believe it, we still kind of numb to it. Maybe that's because this doesn't really affect our life. Okay, let's take a minute and zoom into our bodies. This is a human body. You may have one like it. <laughs> <laughs> and since you started this picture, picture, you will have blinked on average 24, 25 times. You would have taken 30 Ooh. breaths. <laughs> and hopefully, not, uh, hopefully for us, not too many yawns. Right. And if you zoom in a little more, your heart will beat in 100 and that would have pumped your blood all the way from here to Musenberg Group. These facts are amazing, and they're bad, and they're personal to us, but they still don't really affect our lives, or do they? Okay, let's zoom once again into our minds. Okay. <laughs> Everything that Erefan just mentioned does affect us. When we make you aware of your blinking, your blinking rate increases. When we talk about your yawning and we show you a yawn, you're more likely to yawn than you suffer you did yawn at the end of the day. Um, similarly, this red slide behind us changes your heart rate and your breathing and increases it. Um, these are little levers that we flicked inside your mind. We chose to do this and they, they predispose you to do and, and think things that you wouldn't normally do or think. Cool. So this world of trickery is all around us. We know that advertising and marketing, sorry, I don't know, use <laughs> colors, shapes, sights, and sound to sort of change our thinking, our feeling, and what we do. 
And like when you really stop and think of this, this is all kind of bleak actually. Because we know we know that people know or in the know how to pull these little strings inside of us and without our conscious decision make us feel things and do things and things. And we know this and we take it and we put it inside of us and we sort of like numbly ignore it. And doing this makes us a little more vulnerable to the world. Okay, so there's this dark magic, right? There's this negative controlling commercial controlling stuff out there um, that is inside all of us. But there's a flip side to the coin, there's the positive bright side to it, and that's what we really want to get into today. Alright, but first let's take a step back. This picture picture has three parts. In the first part we show you ordinary facts about the universe. But the one is ordinary as the difference because they showed us how we announce the literal awesomeness of the world around us. And in the second part we show you facts about your body. And those facts change effectively slightly, even if there's only slightly, we made you blink and yawn. And we showed you the dark world of trickery. But making you blink and yawn isn't enough. There's no applause for that. We showed you the darkness, the magic is not showing you the light. Okay, and that's why there's the third act, the prestige, where you show us the light. And we're going to give that a go now. Um, I'm going to need you guys help, so let's see how you do. I'm just ready to get some water. <laughs> Okay, work with me here. This is another one of those uh, audience participation things. Um, let's go. This is happening right now. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 Thank <laughs> you. 